I want to see a taxi flip. You know, uh, we came all the way down here where they've got a plethora, a conjury of planes, and, you know, we can't get one started up. And there's so many bazillion different reasons why we can't get one started up. It would boggle your mind if I explained even five of them. But the show must go on, and the Mythbusters are moving to Plan B. Plan B, I believe, involves a separate engine without an airplane that we can hire to, uh, to be brought to where our car is, and that'll do the job. They're going to bring in two jet engines to be operated off stands. It won't make Adam feel better, but the fact he found this story on the internet really doesn't mean it actually happened. I can't tell anymore whether a newspaper story online is true or false. It's really just impossible because a lot of the internet legends appear as news items. And newspapers often pick up urban legends and repeat them as news. Early the next morning, the Mythbusters' new grounded engines arrive. They're normally used to generate wind for movie special effects. These engines are turbojet engines, and they're uh, at the nozzle, at the tailpipe nozzle, we have about 400 miles an hour as far as I could, I could measure. Do you think we'll be successful today at flipping our taxi over? It's a difficult project. I have no idea. It should be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the plan is to fire up the jet engines, then drive the taxi past at a range of 20 feet. That's where the combined blast should be the strongest. Uh, I wouldn't really want to be in the car when it goes by them, but um, I'm not so sure that it's going to be that dramatic. I think the whole thing's just going to go <laughs> and roll over three or four times. I think Jamie's being a little pessimistic. There we go. That's a good one. All right, Buster, you ready to fly? Let's go, start him up. They might be smaller than a 737, but these jet engines still pack a punch. A combined output of about 7,000 pounds per square inch. Now, like the myth, the cab will take its chances running the gauntlet through the jet wash. It was a rough ride, but the cab didn't look like it was being flipped. It affected the car. <laughs> yeah, it it made it wiggle a little bit. Whoa, it took the casket out of the door. I gotta say I was a little disappointed. I, and not only because Jamie was right and I was wrong. What we'll do this time is just park the car in the ab absolute optimal spot for the jets to hit them and we'll let those guys aim them correctly and um, and we'll see what happens. The jet engines are moved in, closer to each other and closer to the car. Ready to go? Ready to go, let's All right. go. Let's get everyone going. Attention everybody, we are ready to go. If the near side rises just enough, the blast will bounce under the car and flip it. They have to abort early. This is a working airport and debris is flying all over the runway. First, the taxi sign, then the front fender. The back fender and the mirrors were taking off next. You know, that was cool and that sucked all at the same time. <laughs> that was really cool and that really sucked. And here's an unexpected development. <laughs> That's a hot car. Yeah, it's was smoking. Well, the blast from the jet engines has heated the car up. There's every possibility that we could set the car on fire. Um, that got it really hot. The whole car was starting to smoke. 
In fact, that was more likely than they realized. The fuel lines have been torn out too. Adam does not want to play with fire. Um, uh, that looks like gas. Fuel, you guys. Jamie? Yeah? We should get this off the runway. I'm disinclined to proceed when we've got a leaking there we go. fuel tank and we're pointing flaming jets at this car, but we're going to try and siphon it out. While the tank is being emptied, the jet engines are being moved to a safer position for one last try. Nicely done, Jamie. Is that good? Keep going, keep going. And a few modifications are made to help the taxi on its way. We're just trying to get this car to flip. We know it can flip. We're just trying to help it along. We've let the tires out on one side. We put it on a little bit of a slope. We are jacking up the side that faces the wind, and uh, we should get a rolling cab. If this doesn't work, it's safe to say it never will with these engines. The meter is running, and time is nearly up for this myth. It's official, the flip is a flop. I think this is, uh, this is a first for us. It's a Mythbusters failure. It's, uh, we're unable through reasons of technology and, well... Insurance. Insurance brokers to make it happen. What do we say here? Do we say that the Mythbusters are busted? Well, you know, we just couldn't afford the, the right jet is what it amounts to. Wah, wah, wah. Let's call that a day. But it's not quite a day. Turns out this one really is true. In January 2002, Rio de Janeiro TV News captured the aftermath. A taxi did indeed drive along an airport access road at the wrong time, and a revved up 737 blew the car 75 feet, injuring the driver and the Mythbusters thought they had a bad day. Yeah!